<laughs> here to Channel 7. Well, especially if she brought seven of them back, right? Yeah, exactly. It's only right. Oh, yeah. There's more good. than seven people in the newsroom. You know they're gone. <laughs> like, like that, right? right. Yeah. Well, she gets in the door. Yeah. All right, well, nice day today. Oh, yes, beautiful, right. beautiful again. It's been a beautiful week so far. I know we're only halfway through, but I think we're going to carry this all the way into Friday. I'm just going to give it away. There you go. We are looking at, uh, again, nice weather, not only tonight, but tomorrow and keeping the milder temperatures for Friday as well. By the time we get to the weekend, though, that's when we start to notice some bigger changes. Oh, There's a strong, it, going down? it is going to go down. There's some, a strong uh, cold front coming through. Here's a live look right now over to Detroit. You can see that sunshine, the late day hours. That'll lead to a clear sky and a quick drop in temperatures. So our quick drop in temperatures, yeah, that means maybe a little fog redeveloping as we head into tonight. So we'll be watching that fog uh, tomorrow morning. But once it burns off, then we're back into that sunshine and milder temperatures. We're going to track our next rain chance as well. That's coming for the weekend, but we are looking at a big change this coming weekend with those temperatures. We've been talking about it. So current conditions downtown. We're in good shape. Our temperature at 65 degrees and east wind at nine and visibility looking fantastic. We just made it to 60, not quite 70, but pretty close. 69 the high today, 48 the low, and we did stay nice and dry as expected. High pressure will continue to dominate the forecast going into tomorrow and Friday. So temperatures right now in Redford, you're at 63, 67 in Southfield, 66 degrees in Wyandotte. These temperatures are comfortable, especially when we start putting things in perspective for where we are in October. 63 degrees right now, Lake Orion and a Romeo at 64. So temperatures sliding from the 60s to the 50s till eventually we're going to see a lot of 40s. So we look at that clear sky, 59 degrees by 8 p.m. Just prior to midnight, we should be in the mid 50s. Now remember, that's in the city. It's always cooler in those outlying suburbs with some fog overnight. Our temperatures about 50 for a low in the city and then 40s elsewhere. Look at this, that big word, that big snow word that a lot of us want to kind of push away. Of course, falling through the uh, upper Midwest, anywhere from 14 to the potential of 18 inches of snow with this cold front. Unbelievable and near, if not blizzard conditions for the upper Midwest. But this is a cold front that will impact us this weekend, bringing the cooler air. And you can see what it's done already. Winnipeg 37, and then we're looking at low 30s in northern North Dakota, Fargo at 49. Now the head of it though, mild air, and we're going to keep it going, as I mentioned, for a couple more days. We look at tomorrow here at home, mostly sunny sky, just a few clouds around tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, we stay dry into Friday morning. It's close. That rain kind of knocking on our door here by the afternoon. I do think maybe a few scattered showers try to make it in, and then the heaviest of the rain coming after about 10 or 11 o'clock. Again, timing is key, so stay with us as we continue to tweak it. But the rainiest period Friday late night into early Saturday. If we can get that rain out by the afternoon on Saturday, it's going to be a cool but at least dry weekend. So temperatures tonight down to near 50, 70 again tomorrow. Looking fantastic, 71 on Friday. And then there it is. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> we see those 50s. And this is the time of the year. A lot of times we transition into the cooler air and we stay in the cooler air too. So just something to consider. All right, we'll get ready for it. Yeah.